Good day. In this video, we're going to look at this circle geometry question. It's a numerical example. That means there are numbers written in the angles, so we've got numbers that we can use. Remember, the best way to get better at geometry is to get as many as possible problems in your hands with memos attached. Then look what the people did, and then you'll get an idea on how it works. Here's such one. In an exam, you, or, or in a test, or in a question, you always have to read properly what is said about this picture. We call it the given. In this case, they say QP is a tangent, so this line here is a tangent, which then implies there's a tan chord sitting here, and other tan rules that might come in. There's also a tangent radius over here that's perpendicular. Before we start answering, the next one they say center is O, so that guy is the center. You can't just assume something is a center. So we've got the center over there with radii over here and there and there. Then they said T is on the circle, so we can see it over there. Then they say, one of the difficult things to understand for some people, PS by 6 TPQ. Now TPQ, I'm showing it again, TPQ, that angle is bisected by that line. Now that actually just means that that angle P2 and P1 is equal. That you must reduce immediately. Then they said SPQ is 22 degrees. I wrote here, fill it in immediately. And then the other thing they said is RS is a diameter. I put it in in red here. And that implies that there's a 90 degrees there angle in a semicircle. Please always remember, when answering a geometry problem, you must always make a statement and give a reason for your statement. In this problem, they're going to ask us to calculate quite a few angles. And you must always give reasons. So they said calculate the following and give reasons for your answers. So first we want to find how big is P2. P2 will be 22 degrees because it's the same size as P1. Because SP by 6 angle TPQ. And I wrote you, fill it in on the sketch immediately. The next one, they want us to calculate R2. That's in the corner up there. R2 will also be 22 degrees. But why? Yes, because of the tan chord theorem. There's the tan, there's the chord. That 22 is the same as that 22 up there. Next, they want us to work out angle P3 plus angle P4. I indicated it there in the blue arrow. First, I wrote angle RPS is 90 degrees. Why? Because of angles in a semicircle. They told us this is a diameter, so we have a 90 degrees on the diameter there. Then... To find P3 plus P4, it's going to be 90 minus the 22 degrees there at P2. That gives me 68 degrees, and we fill it in. Next, they ask us the size of angle R1. That's the one there. Then we can write R1 is equal to 22 degrees because it's equal to P2. And that is angles in the same segment. I can show you that R1 is equal to that P2 over there. For this reason, some people write angles in the same segment, angles on the same chord, or angles on the same arc, all acceptable. And remember it for yourself to fill it in on the sketch. Please stop the video and get your brain around this first. I'm going to work out two more angles, angle O1 and then Q2 next. We start in triangle TOR. Angle R1 is equal to angle T1, the two blue dots, is equal to 22 degrees. Because those two radii are equal, the angles opposite them will be equal. We just write radii. So angle O1 will be equal to angle R1 plus T1, which is 44 degrees, because of the exterior angles of a triangle. There is my triangle, and there O1 is sitting outside the triangle. The last size they want from us is the angle Q2. I made a blue dot there. One way is to go into triangle RPQ. Then you'll see angle R2 is 22 degrees, already proven. Then in that triangle, angle P is all these P's together, P1, P2, P3, and P4, which adds up to 112 degrees. You can see it over there. There's the 90 and the extra 22 over there. Then we may write Q2 plus P plus R2 is 180, the interior angles of a triangle. Then you can just write Q2 equals to 46 degrees. It's 180 minus the other two angles. Just the reasoning again, over here, you can say sum of interior angles of a triangle or just interior angles of a triangle. All depends what you were taught. Now please stop the video and try and understand what happened here. 
Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video and subscribe to the channel.